hello children welcome back we have been studying about the landforms and we have studied about all the different landforms that is the mountains hills plateaus deserts <coughs> plains and we have also studied about the seven continents of this world now we are going to learn about the oceans there are five oceans in this world so we studied about the land masses which covers only 30% of the earth surface the large portion is covered by water so 70% of the earth surface is covered by water the large water bodies uh, that surround the continents are called oceans so what are oceans oceans are the large bodies of water that surrounds the continent are called oceans oceans are large expanse of sea oceans form a huge part of the hydrosphere so the earth consists mainly of uh, water it, uh, about 70% of the la of this earth is water and uh, there are huge water bodies on this earth it keeps moving all the time although all the oceans are interconnected with they are generally divided into five oceans although they are uh, interconnected from any part either from the north or the south uh, but yet they are divided into five different oceans now let's see what are the five different oceans the five major oceans in the decreasing order of this size so the biggest is the pacific ocean then second is atlantic ocean third is the indian ocean fourth is the arctic ocean and fifth is the antarctic or the southern ocean so these these are the five different oceans as per their size now we'll study about the biggest ocean that is the pacific ocean pacific ocean is the largest and deepest ocean in the world it covers covers about one third of the earth the mariana trench that is that is a height of 11034 meters the world's deepest trench is situated in this pacific ocean so it is the world's deepest trench that is the mariana trench that is that has a, a depth of about 11034 meters <coughs> the pacific ocean is almost triangular in shape with its apex in the north at the bering strait its average depth is 4280 meters and maximum depth depth is 10911 meters and it is surrounded by asia australia in the west and north america and south america in the east almost 3/4 of the world's active volcanoes are found in the pacific ocean so active volcanoes are those volcanoes those high mountain uh, areas which have craters craters are long holes are uh, big holes on the top of the mountain which give out uh, the magma which throw out the magma and the volcanoes Uh, are very active in the pacific ocean so whatever mountain whatever vol volcanic mountains are there they are very active in the pacific ocean then we have the atlantic ocean it's the second largest ocean in the world and it is an s shaped ocean and is surrounded by north america and south america in the west and europe and africa in the east it has a very long and indented coastline that provides good sites for sheltered harbors and seaports it provides the busiest trade and commerce route to the world the average depth of the atlantic along with its adjacent sea is 3339 meters and greatest depth is milwaukee deep near is 8380 meters the coastline of the atlantic ocean is longer than that of the coastlines of the pacific ocean and the indian oceans put together then we come to the third largest ocean that is the indian ocean as you know it is in the southern part of our country the indian ocean is the third largest ocean in the world it is the only ocean in the world which is named after a country that is india so among all the oceans you will learn here you will come to know that uh, this ocean is the only ocean which is named after its country 
that is it is at uh, the southern end of india and hence it is known as the indian ocean it is surrounded by africa in the west and by australia in the east in the north it is entirely bounded by asia therefore it is also called as half an ocean its southern part is linked with the pacific ocean and the atlantic ocean its average depth is about 4000 meters then we come to the next ocean that is the arctic ocean it is the smallest and shallowest of one world's five major oceans out of the five major oceans it is the world's uh, smallest and shallowest ocean shallowest means it has hardly any depth it lies lies around the north pole its average depth is 3658 meters and deepest point is the litki deep with 5450 meters so it is the deepest point of the lake of the ocean and it is uh, it lies in the north pole it is almost entirely bounded by land masses throughout the year its water remains almost frozen since it is in the poles and uh, in the poles uh, there is always uh, the water is in a frozen state so the arctic ocean is in a frozen state and it lies near the poles it is bounded by the northern parts of north america europe and asia the narrow bering strait connects it to the pacific ocean the antarctic ocean or the southern ocean now we come to the fifth ocean that is the antarctica antarctic ocean or the southern ocean the southern parts of the three oceans that is the indian ocean the atlantic ocean and the pacific ocean surrounding the continent of antarctica are referred to as the southern ocean and it is average depth is between 4000 to 5000 meters so its depth is not too much it is 4 to 5 kilometers you can see it is situated bit, uh, within the antarctic circle and surrounds the south pole this ocean is considered to be the youngest of all oceans geologically so it is uh, one of the uh, unique features that this ocean is considered to be the youngest of all oceans geologically now this we have le uh, learned about the big water bodies the huge water bodies on this earth surface now we learn about the different types of water bodies uh, prevalent uh, within the land surface so water on the earth is present in different types of water bodies uh, these are differentiated on the basis of sh uh, size shape type of water etc the largest water bodies are oceans which we have studied earlier and uh, now we'll uh, learn the smallest water bodies in the form of rivers Uh, the river is a large flowing water body which typically falls in an ocean or sea it is a fresh water body that usually originates from mountains or an elevated area so uh, it uh, rivers are those uh, water bodies which are uh, which uh, begin with a from a mountain and fall towards the plain and drops into the oceans the world's longest river is the nile in egypt followed by the amazon river in south america so nile is the longest river and after that comes the amazon river which is in south america now then we have the lakes lakes are the huge and deep water filled depressions so uh, on the earth surface there are high and low areas as we have studied in, as in the landforms so uh, there are some huge uh, deep uh, water filled depressions on the earth surface which are called lakes so these are fed by the surface water or the ground water so whatever water collects uh, there it uh, is stored as the ground water lakes can be of fresh water or salt water so lakes can be either uh, they can be uh, tasted and they can be uh, salt water also they are com they are completely surrounded by land so these water bodies are surrounded by land and hence they are known as the lakes the major lakes of the world are here so it is the caspian sea baikal lake lake victoria dal lake sambhar lake chilka lake and many more lakes are there in this world now we'll see that there is another part type of water body that is the seas seas are large water bodies but they are smaller than oceans so this is something to be known you can uh, even uh, see that the arabian sea is there the uh, uh, 
Caspian Sea, the Caribbean Sea, the Bering uh, Sea, these are all are the sea which are hu uh, huge water bodies, but they are smaller in size when compared to oceans. They are partly enclosed by a land mass and are connected to an ocean. They are partly enclosed. That means uh, it is between the land mass and uh, they have an outlet to the oceans. The largest sea is the South China Sea. So this is the largest sea is the South China Sea which holds hundreds of islands in its water. And the Caribbean Sea, Mediterranean Sea, Bering Sea are some of the uh, world's largest seas. They are extremely used as transport lanes for ships. So these uh, seas are used for communication purpose through the trans transport of goods. Then we have the glaciers. Now the last form of uh, water bodies is the glaciers. Uh, glaciers are uh, frozen rivers which move very slowly. They store around 75% of the earth's fresh water. If these get melted, the sea levels would rise up to 30 uh, feet. So glaciers are the big uh, water, uh, frozen water bodies, uh, f frozen ice uh, pieces uh, that uh, float on the water. It, uh, if these, so you can imagine if these big uh, blocks of ice, is, ice uh, melts down, then the water body will rise up to 230 feet up. There are ancient water bodies which are even 40 million years old. So we have many more ancient uh, water bodies of glaciers which are about 40 million years old. So children, this is all about this chapter and I think we have learnt a lot in this chapter about the whole, whole planet Earth. So please study this chapter and learn uh, everything about it. Search for some important things also. So have a happy learning. Bye-bye.